I'm 11 years old, sitting in the car with my dad, and he turns to me and says, you've always been the perfect son. I could have never asked for more. But today is the first day I'm disappointed in you. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and fellow lawyers. What he didn't know was that two days before that, I was amongst the sheep and the wolves that walk around our schools. And I was a small little sixth grader, sitting there at gym, having fun. I'm open, I'm open. Somebody said, this is dodgeball, hide. Okay. As I stand back up, Mark sneaks in behind me and pulls my pants down. I turn red, pick up my pants quickly. I don't know what to do. What do you do in that moment? I can't run to the teacher. I don't run to the principal. And I can't go home. I don't tell anybody. Because we're actually more embarrassed that it occurred. We're ashamed that it occurred. So I go home. The next day, I do the wrong thing. I find Mark. I don't want you ever to do that to me again. What do I got to do? He said, it's easy. You just got to go find one victim. Go find somebody else, pull their pants down, and we're good. So I found my victim, and his name was Randy. He stood up. I snuck behind him and dropped his pants. But Randy was mid-step and fell flat on his face sitting there looking at me going, why would you do that? As I stood above him like a wolf looking at the meat. Now, I don't know why I did that. I mean, that's not who I want to be. That's not who anybody wants to be. And I don't know why we do that. We intentionally hurt somebody else to get buy-in from another person that doesn't matter. So that night, sixth grade chorus concert, my dad and I are standing there in line, getting the drinks, and Randy's mom comes up to my dad, taps him on the shoulder. Says, your son hurt my son today. And my dad just looked at her, he said, is he okay? He says, I'll take care of this. And my dad stared at me in that silent disappointment that's worse than death. And on the way home, he sat there. That was the first time I'm ever disappointed in you. So you're going to mess up. You're going to make mistakes. That's part of life. But don't ever let me find out from somebody else. You have a responsibility. You tell me first. I don't want to ever be surprised like that. And in that moment, my dad showed me the alpha dog, the dog, he taught me two things. First, to help with peer pressure. Trying to be cool costs way too much. I decided that day, I'm going to be a dog. Second thing he taught me, you got to be accountable. Again, you're going to mess up. And this passes on towards school on to life, you're going to screw up, but don't ever hide it. Being deceitful costs too much, and it comes around every time. My lessons of being a dog. My dad, the hero of that moment, he was willing to confront the wolf and was able to protect the sheep. That's what being a lawyer is. And that's what we're doing here. We're going to make a change. You are all dogs. A lawyer. Somebody that's willing to confront evil. To confront the wolf. Somebody that's able to protect the helpless. Protect the sheep. Are you up for this challenge? Are you ready? Are you willing to protect the sheep?
That's what we need. And we're going to change things in this firm too. You're not going to be liked. This can be very controversial. But we are going to go after somebody and we're going to protect somebody. You interested in who? You interested in what we're going to do? We're going to go after the murderers and the rapists. And we're going to protect the innocent victims. We're going to go after the food companies. The food companies, that's who we're going to go after this year. They impregnate artificially cows so they produce milk. What happens when you're impregnated? You give birth, right? What if your baby was taken from you to go get killed? So you could be put back on the machines to produce milk. That's what we're going to do today. We are dogs. We're going to defend the cows. We're going to defend the sheep. And we're going to start confronting the wolf. I'll ask you again. Are you ready to confront the wolf? Are you ready to protect the sheep? Are you ready to be dogs? Walk with me. Thank you.